Natto. Natto is like, it's fermented soybeans and it's really interesting because the more you stir it up with your chopsticks, the slimier it gets. <laughs> and it almost, oh, it smells awful. And the texture feels like slimy boogers, like holding everything together. <laughs> but it actually tastes decent. <laughs> typhoons. <laughs> they have a lot of typhoons in Japan and they're not actually quite as bad in the Tokyo South Mission as they are in other areas, like more down south. But it rains a lot and it rains very, very hard. <laughs> you can also get some crazy snow um, during some winters too. Like we've had some traffic that got shut down and we had to call a member to come and get us. One winter that I was there, it was the worst that had been in 20 years. As far as I can recall, it might have been a couple feet. Um, I don't remember specifically. It was really bad though. <laughs> I learned how to whistle on my mission. <laughs> I learned how to do that one weird snapping thing from one of the other missionaries. <laughs> There were some that were kind of bad mistakes that I probably won't share, but <laughs> there's, there's other ones that are, um, that are pretty funny. Like in the MTC, we got a little blue dictionary that had lots of different words. And um, there was a companionship in our district that tried to look up all the words that they didn't know that they wanted to use in the lesson. Um, fr from that book specifically, but they weren't like super careful about it. So they were trying to teach the investigator how to pray, like, you know, how to close your eyes and, you know, fold your arms, bow your head and all of that. Um, but when they were trying to say to fold your arms, they, they looked up the wrong word for arms <laughs> in the dictionary. Um, Japanese is it doesn't really have plural forms except for people. And so they had looked up arms, like arms of war. <laughs> and so when they were telling them to go and fold their arms, they were telling them to, you know, go fold their weapons <laughs> and bow their head. It was great. <laughs> One spiritual experience I had was just kind of a testimony to me that even if I didn't see the results of everything that I did on my mission, that, you know, miracles were still happening because of what I was doing. And this happened when um, I met someone um, at a train station and started, I started talking to him um, when I was on splits, gave him a Book of Mormon um, and a flyer with our phone number on it. And talked with him, tried to set up a return appointment, but he said no. And so I didn't think, you know, much of it, except that I was happy I was able to at least give him the Book of Mormon. And then I didn't think anything of it until next transfer, I was in a different area. And we had our temple P-Day where we got to go to the Tokyo temple. And um, the person, the missionary that I was on splits with, uh, at that time had come and approached me in the temple and he said like, hey, do you remember this person that we talked to? And I, I didn't remember until he told me the details. Um, but then he told me that he was getting baptized like the next week and that when, you know, we would gave him the Book of Mormon and everything like that, he didn't get a chance to look at it until a little bit later and after about three weeks or so, he started reading the Book of Mormon on his own. Um, he had some questions, called up the missionaries, and they started teaching him, and they set a date to be baptized. And it was just a huge, you know, testimony builder to me that, you know, God's mindful of everything that we're doing and that even if we don't see the results, they're still happening. Keep up your mission habits, but then learn to move on from the mission like, keep the things that you learned on your mission, but 
realize that you're moving on to a different part of your life where you need to balance more things. It's not all missionary work that you have to balance. You need to worry about, you know, school work. You need to worry about all these other things that you need to balance where before you only needed to worry about the gospel. So my biggest thing is figure out what all your priorities are, get them all lined up, and then figure out a balance between everything. Learn to balance all the different areas of your life. Bring good winter gear. <laughs> Bring really good shoes, particularly ones that are waterproof. That is very important. Bring both long sleeve and short sleeve shirts and you don't need a whole lot of ties. You're going to get like lots of them. <laughs> you'll, you'll have plenty of ties by the time your mission is done. Just have good shoes. You're going to do a lot of walking. Get a really comfortable side bag that works well with biking or walking. Um, because you'll need a really comfortable side bag to carry around your scriptures and everything else that you're going to have. You're not going to carry everything with you, just enough to where you have like maybe a couple copies of the Book of Mormon and some pamphlets and stuff like that at one time. But like just get a really comfortable side bag that works with biking.